Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Maria. I am an apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you don't know what we're all about, the purpose of this channel is to accomplish three things. One, we want to equip apostolics with easily shareable messages so they can be stronger in their faith. Two, we want to open up current Christians to the beautiful apostolic doctrine that we believe in. And three, ultimately all I want to see is the holy word of God clean and transform you. But because you have navigated your way to my channel, you have made it just in time for the Daily Mop. And in today's message of power, I'm going to be talking about how Satan's a cockroach. Squash it. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the adversary. Let's talk about our enemy, Satan. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! See, Satan's sneaky. He loves to multiply. He loves to kind of hang around in the dark, and he likes to come from season to season to uh, pester you, to be a nuance unto you, and it just seems like you just can't get rid of him. And you know what he kind of reminds me of? Cockroaches. Now, I'll be honest, at my house right now, we have a, a big problem right now with cockroaches. I hate it, and it's been lasting for a couple of months. But I started thinking about that. You know, Satan is like a cockroach. He loves to come in at the most inconvenient times and just disturb with how you're walking with God. Can anyone relate? But even those, these cockroaches are everywhere. I can crush them. They're, they don't stand a chance against me. And you know what the great thing about having the Spirit of God inside you can do for you? You've got that exact same power over Satan in the spiritual world. In 1 Peter 5, 8 through 9, Peter describes Satan as a prowling, roaring lion uh, waiting to devour its enemy. Now make no mistake here, he may prowl around like a lion, but he is not the king of the spiritual jungle. That's God. God is the king of our jungle. See, he's just a mere little cockroach. If there's any character that I could probably relate Satan to here in the real world, it'd probably be Plankton from Spongebob. Really big, really proud, really loud voice, but ultimately he's just this little Plankton. And that's exactly what Satan is for us. Think about it. If Jesus said that we had faith the size of a mustard seed that can move mountains, you don't think he'd give us the exact same power to crush Satan under our feet? Somebody get your stomping shoes ready. Don't believe me? Well, let's look at the word. Romans 16, 20 tells us, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. So why do I tell you all this? Well, I don't want you to be discouraged. Even though cockroaches, you feel like you're killing them and killing them and they keep multiplying and they won't leave, I've got good news for you. If you will just survive that season and just keep pestering off that little say and you just keep crushing them every time he comes around you, there will be a time where he won't show up anymore. James 4, 7 tells us, submit yourselves therefore to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Cockroaches may be around for a season, and if you notice, they love to only come when it's a rainy day. They only love to come when the weather gets cold and they wanna disturb on a, a warm house, and they love to come out in the dark. But as soon as the light is exposed, as soon as sunshine is out and around your house, as soon as the weather becomes warm, what happens? You just don't see them anymore. And that's exactly how the devil is. Uh, Jesus will give you that power today to stomp Satan right under your feet. And next time you see Satan, just look at him as a cockroach and squash it. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Definitely wanna know what you all got out of it. But most importantly, share this message. Share it with your best friend. Put it on your Facebook, slap it on your Instagram. Doesn't even matter. We're trying to get this message out. And hey, don't let your blessing streak in. Check out some of these other videos we got here. Hey, love you all so much. Gotta go, bye-bye.